Welcome back to another most awesome Minecraft Monday tour. Um, today we're going to be touring two towns, uh, the town of Seawater Village and Winter Haven. Um, after this, it will be this will be one of the last episodes of this tour series that I'll do, and we'll move on to do um, maybe like building or something. Show you how I create these awesome places. So let's get right into it. So I'm coming to you live from my outdoor studio. You guys are very used to it. Uh, you'll be hearing some cars outside and fire trucks coming by. Just because I want to be able to freely speak. Sorry to all of you who don't like hearing the wind and odd cars passing by. That's, I think it adds scenery. Just like these fireworks, they erupt behind me. So here we got a nice little t uh, map of Seawater Village. Um, I j basically what I did was build, um, put laid sand down, and built right on top of it um, with these houses and the little walkways. This is the first build I've ever done. It's like city town where the streets aren't really um, linear. This, I wanted this to be kind of organic shaped, even though in Minecraft you can't have uh, curves and stuff like that. So right now you're just seeing the inside of these little huts. Each one is probably about the same. Um, a few interior variations, but eh. Like this one has the wall there. Well, fences instead of a wall. Two lights on top. And interestingly, the side with the bedroom it's very little light so it's kind of cool so then get a nice view outside the window and there we go and this is like the little town little uh, little town center you got Finn's fresh fish from Victoria Harbor looks like he got some stuff today looks like vast emptiness out there all right and then here you can buy some ships or little boats and then you know what I just realized uh, Victoria Harbor doesn't have any uh, clothing stores at least not any that I can remember building but anyways and that's our last hut kind of a bigger variation uh, more spacious I probably could have added a kitchen there and then outside you'll see uh, just a dock for a boat this person certainly can't afford one. And there you go, the aerial view. One of the huts uses a tree as a as roofing. It's like it's like a subtle theme I've sometimes put in there. Anyways, uh, now we're gonna fly off to Winter Haven. So north of Victoria Harbor, we got this uh, dock area, and to your left, you see Victoria with the beam and Shell City. For some reason, I think the pyramid's not shining up, but I think that's because we're too far. So we go up this long hill, and then we make it to the Lumber Cross Way or Highway. I can't, I can't read right now. Um, so let's try going up. Maybe not. All right, let's try building some speed here. All right, try it again. Okay, so I spent about 20 minutes trying to figure this out. I'm just kidding, it's more like two minutes trying to make this launchable. So then I did this, add some redstone, and it doesn't look good with the theme of the wood, but oh well, it works. So this ride is kind of long, but it's also very scenic because it's just like built right on top of the forest. And the mountains ahead are very, um, I don't know, peaked, tall, narrow, whatever you call it. And welcome to Winterhaven, the town of snow and Christmas, or non-denominational holiday. And it's the Winterhaven flag. And let's go take 
a little look at the map and I'll give you guys a short aerial view. So here in here right in front is the shopping district and way in the back is just where all the little houses are, um, cabins and stuff. And with the with the history, like the fake history that I made for this game, or this little world, uh, Winter Haven was established by people who lived in Lyran. So kind of like Victoria was the, the sister city of Shawl City, Winter Haven is the sister city of Lyran. But since it's in the south region, um, this history, in this his fake history, um, Winter Haven operates kind of like part of the central government of Victoria Harbor. Because remember in our last video I kind of described how the South region is kind of controlled by Victoria Harbor. I don't know if you can hear it, but the cars are coming back. Maybe I can edit out the noise and reduce that, but well. So we got the Christmas tree with the town flags as ornaments. And here's the library. Yes, I think every town has one of these. Or at least a bookstore. Honestly, when I was building these towns, I couldn't think of what to put in them. So I kind of standardized what should be built in a, in a town. So like the grocery store, cafe, clothing store, library, um, restaurants. I don't think Winter Haven has any restaurants, but I think I designed it that way because immediately next door, um, down, the, down the railway, at the very end of the video, we're going to be kind of seeing Acropolis Metro, and that's just um, basically the mini city. Here is the ice skating rink, shaped like a sun snowflake. Ooh. I sat my arm on the armrest of this one chair, and now my now the skin kind of like folded, like blended in with it. It's kind of weird. Okay, so now we're just entering the residential area, shop saying goodbye to the shopping district. And first thing we're greeted to is Craig's Tool Shack. It kind of reminds me of the Doontown uh, General Store, and that's kind of the vibes I was going with, but a little more, um, I don't know, forest vibes. Anyways, so we got another Christmas tree, a little bit smaller for the neighbors. Uh, if you saw closely, um, this one, you can, this house you can see right above the, the skating rink, so it's kind of cool. And then, not much really to it. I, it's not as complicated as some of the houses or apartments we've toured. No bathroom, but it does have this kind of cozy feel. This one's kind of, this house is kind of based on like a trailer or a manufactured home. Um, I kind of want it, I thought it kind of suited the little area and it kind of deviates from the, from the cabin vibes, like the cabin feel. Um, and then this is Shirley, the little llama or alpaca. I rode her on a horse, the little alpaca. She gave me a ride to this town and then I trapped her in that fence and she's been there ever since for four years. And this was, I don't know if I already said it, but this was the first uh, cabin I built. It was definitely a learning curve for, for building cabins because I didn't, I, I was so used to building uh, towers and um, square homes, kind of like the via squares. And then this one was, was a challenge with the roof. Here, I want to give you guys an aerial view. The roof is slanted and I never built that before. Um, just to give you a perspective of where it is, it's built on a hill, hangs over a cliff too. So we got, it's kind of cozy. I wanted to go for the cozy modern feel for it. And to be honest, if I could redo this, I would probably build double walls and add um, like a white clay interior. That would just give it a modern feel. And over there is another house that I just built. Uh, downstairs is the bathroom and the bedroom, so we'll take a quick look at that. Yeah. 
and in the now looking past beyond this window is just a very deep canyon or something so it's kind of cool now rushing over to the hotel which I probably should have toured at when I was at the first house that we went inside um, I'm still building this one it's kind of in progress but it so far looks cool especially with the cane it kind of suits the uh, development feel so the idea is you'd be greeted by the fireplace check out over there um, maybe a restaurant or a cafe right here like in this hallway area and that's all I really built um, now we're going on the back side of uh, the mountain here and I don't show this on video but there's actually a candy cane pole at the top of this mountain um, kind of like supposed to be like the North Pole kind of thing literally but I skipped it because I forgot about it and so here we are at the most recent house I built, which is very narrow. Uh, I tried accomplishing the same uh, design as the house way over there with the, with the slanted roof, but it ended up not turning out as exactly as I wanted it. And so I covered up with uh, the, wood, the wood ceiling. That way it doesn't look as um, intimidating when you go inside. I did add a lot of greenery. Um, took some took some inspiration from the first uh, apartment building, the forest apartments I built in Lyran City, um, but that was it. Also, there was just an update for chains, so I'm going to add chains. There we go. Hold on. My dad just saw me through the window, and I stuck my tongue out and made a weird face, so hopefully that scared him off. <laughs> Making sure he doesn't know what I'm doing outside, but not that I am ashamed of this This is more like for me to showcase kind of like the world I made so Screw you for creeping on me even though I'm being creepier back All right, so now with, with 12 minutes into this video and nonsense of me lis listening and talking with you guys we're gonna go and finish this tour by finishing up at uh, Acropolis City. Okay, so you guys, my parents just went out to check one of the resorts in town, and now I'm home alone, so for less than a minute, you will have me freely speaking in the house without cars blasting in the background. Um, I don't know what to say right now, but thank you so much for watching. Uh, full support for my 12 viewers. Papa bless to you guys. And, um, I think after our next video, it will be the end of this series. Peace, peace, and see you next time.